Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your, what is this, what day is this, oracle reading. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is, excuse me, much appreciated. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and clear some of this energy. All right, Aquarius. Okay, so you got some new love coming in for me. I'll tell you the good news. Or, or this is renewal of love, of a love that you already have. Or this is, you know, someone new is going to enter your life. But there's a new phase where you're going to start falling in love with yourself again because you're going to actually be true to you. Right now, you're having a hard time deciding if um with this be true to you you're having a hard time deciding what to do you're kind of in and out back and forth about a decision and it looks like it's about a relationship um it's about a relationship here with relationship dynamics you don't know if you should stay you feel differently you're hearing differently um your emotions are up and down with this connection you don't know if you if you should welcome new in your life with especially with that new love you don't know if you should leave and you're also just unclear about the next step to take here it looks like being with this person sometimes brings you a bit of despair where you are flying off the handle there's a bit of frustration you're it might even they bring up something in you um that you you can describe but you don't understand um it might be because this person um is a soldier here they're a traveler um and they don't want anything serious uh they're the kind of love them and leave them type of energy. They're in and out. They're definitely a traveler. There's someone who's, who is about the town. Uh, they get around. This could also be someone who gets around. Um, this could also be someone who travels for work or they kind of make, a, make rounds. I don't know if they do something with import, export, or they make rounds. Um, if, if, if we're talking about work, if we're talking about people, this person has a, a rotation, a ring of people that they entertain. So they make rounds about the town. Um, they could want to date you. They could be dating you. Uh, they could want to date you exclusively. They want you to be exclusive to them, but they're not exactly exclusive to you. Uh, they're willing to, you know, tell you the sweet nothings, buy you the gifts, take you on the trips. Because once again, we do have travel here. And then we have journey. It looks like in, in knowing this person, you have figured out something about yourself. For some of you, it's that you stay too long. You stay in unresolved issues. Unresolved. You stay in relationships that have unresolved issues. And you just let it go and go. And you just, you know, you kind of just deal with it. Or you live with it. Or you have been doing this. You're learning something about yourself here. Especially with the religion and spirituality card. Something about you needed to make a decision. You're in and out or off and on or hot and cold about this decision to either let someone go walk away leave a situation allow for new to come into you but the cards are asking you to just be true to you be true to what you want uh you can't keep putting yourself out okay um some situation may surprise you okay uh there might be an element of surprise there could even be engagement here too if some of you are experiencing new love um someone is 
very much in love with you and infatuated with the idea of having you as their wife or their husband. You could be dealing with a twin flame here, whether it's for some of you, this journey, this twin flame journey is working out well. Like you guys are moving towards uh, engagement. Excuse me. Uh, where's that card? The true gem. Okay. Moving towards engagement or having some happy surprise. Or it's that this person, this twin flame brings you lots of despair. Because they're in and out. They're hot and cold. Um, you guys may be on the outs right now with long distance. You may be waiting to hear from them. They're waiting to hear from you. You just don't know what to do. This person makes you feel a level of maybe compulsion and or addiction. And you need to know that those are symptoms of the problem and not the actual problem. The sacral chakra here. You need to definitely look at how you're dealing in relationships, in uh, sexual relationships, in sensuality, in interpersonal relationships. Um, because I don't know if you get compulsive and you just leave, because we do have someone leaving here with journey and travel, or you get super addicted to where you just feel like you can't leave. You are fixed sign, so you need to be aware of that and able, aware of your nature that you get when you're locked in you're locked in when you're out you're out so you need to be aware of that and aware of how you're operating in this relationship or in any relationship also with the sacral chakra card coming up this is directly related to the uh, crescent moon i believe so maybe you need to do some manifestation work for new love a love for yourself I'm being true to you around the crescent moon. I think we, if we're moving out of the crescent moon. Um, yeah, but you know that's just um, a piece of knowledge for you. It looks like you feel restricted here. Um, you feel like you are not expanding. Now this could be just in your everyday life with the prison card. You feel as if um, you're stuck somewhere. Um, you also could be punishing yourself. You're feeling a bit of shame and guilt. I don't know if you were dealing with someone who already had someone. They've moved on or they've traveled out of your life. I feel like once again, this is not something that is new to you. Um, and now you're feeling like, why did I let this person back? Or why did I fall for it? Or why did I allow this to come into my life for some of you you're holding on to hope or your person is holding on to hope that things will turn around it will get better um you guys will be better there will in the future there will there'll be a positive outcome some of you are waiting for news about documents contracts uh maybe even some legalities um, it says you'll get an approval here, so rest your 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 weary mind. It's okay. It's a yes answer there. With this twin flame journey here and this twin flame person, for some of you it's going well, for some of you not so well. You're wondering why you keep thinking about this person, and the cards want you to know this card is very dark that you are spiritually connected to those you love. And that's why you keep thinking about this person. But once again, you have a card of um, life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. So again, being true to you. However you feel about the connection, you need to do what's best for you. Also, you can't keep stifling yourself, progress by allowing someone to come in and kind of shift the energy here. To have like some destructive influence over you. Where they come in and destruct. They're not constructing anything with you. They're not building. But they're destructing. And maybe that's when you go into that compulsive and addictive nature. Where either I need to hold on. Or I need to absolutely cut it off and run away. But I still have the door open for them. But I'm leaving. But I'm cutting it off and I'm running away. It's 
this person is bringing a bit of uns not even a bit a lot of un you know instability with you and um you have a decision to make especially with the be true to yourself be true to you um and uh i can't tell you what that decision is but um what we're going to do in the extended is find out if this courting man is someone new or someone um old what this person wants with you what they want to tell you and we'll get a possible outcome there okay um there's also somebody here i don't know if this twin flame or whomever you're dealing with this could even be you aquarius somebody wants freedom someone does not want restrictions and obligations and a relationship with those things they they want you know the freedom to move about because we have a lot of movement here travel and journey i don't know if this person has a lot of partners or a lot of people that they entertain or they travel for work something of that nature to where um there's also a lack of trust here Somebody is wanting, this could be you Aquarius, wanting to be in a committed relationship. And maybe this person has not given you that opportunity, that true gem just yet or at, or never. I don't know. We're going to see in the extended if this person will ever extend to you um, maybe this, you know, the status change of boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, fiance, wife, whatever. Um, but it looks like you have a decision to make because you want to be in a commitment. You want to be a wife. And maybe this person is not providing that for you, to you. Um, so you're going to have to break free. So that's what I'm seeing. You have to let go. And it's so hard. Maybe you put so much time and energy into this relationship to where you do feel a bit of shame and guilt for just walk, you know, by just walking away or giving up. Or feeling like you're losing something. Or the would, you know, the shoulda, coulda, woulda, or what if, and things of those natures. But the cards want you to uh, question your desires, uh, Aquarius. Are they pure? Your heart chakra. You know, is this um, from the ego? Where is this coming from? Is it that you just want to win? Is it that you feel you deserve to win? Because there's somebody willing to do battle about the position that they're taking they're a soldier and they're committed to duty whatever their duty is i don't feel like it is you but they're committed to their duty and you may be beating yourself up because you brought this person i feel like back into your life maybe they left once before or you kicked them out of your life once before they show back up you allowed the relationship to transpire again and, you, and it got and it expired just as soon as it transpired it expired and this is just um the, maybe even this is just the nature of this individual you're going to have to get used to that accept it or not accept it and move on so that you can actually have a new love or an, at least a new lease on life all right so Aquarius let's go over to the to the extended and see what this courting man who he is, what he wants from you, what he wants to tell you in a possible outcome here, all right? Thank you, Aquarius. The link below for the extended reading. Um, the link is below. You can purchase that. Um, I will see you in the, in the extended reading. You can also purchase your own personal oracle reading, just like this one. Go over to the website and get your oracle reading. Or you can uh, ask a question or two. Text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Um, you can donate to the channel. If you feel feeling moved to do so, if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always give back. You can donate any denomination. It is welcome. It is not mandatory, but definitely welcome. And it is uh, a blessing. So thank you. Take care. Many blessings. See you in the extended.